working on socials. I, I'm sorry, one of my pet peeves um, is when, you know, promotions oh, for events get posted and there's like, sentence structure needs to be fixed, grammatical errors, things that could be worded differently that mm. make it, to make it easier for players to understand. Uh, that's one of my really big, like one of the really big pet peeves that I have. Um, because I, I help out with uh, anime clothing brand pretty often uh, in terms of posting and editing. And it's like, mm -hmm. it's easy to tell the difference between your, 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 and their, their, their. You know, it's it's really not that <laughs> fucking difficult. So, so uh, two, two, two is where you see, draw the line like, then. Uh, see, I was going to say, I was like, you, I, now I can tell that you haven't gotten jaded to how difficult rational, like coherent thought is to some people. Um, For you to be like, yeah, we should be able to differentiate these three words. It's like, you would be surprised. <laughs> If you want me to be honest, it feels like sometimes the people that I have met and or talked to only have heads for decoration. Common sense is okay. not very common. Unfortunately. This isn't this is not to, you know, She's just like, like me for real. For this real. Really, it's not to be like arrogant people. or anything. It's just how it is. Because you if you take on the role of a media manager, you should know how things are supposed to be worded or said or otherwise. Um, when people ask you to clarify certain things, you should respond to them accordingly uh, in a proper manner of time. You don't respond to them the night before or the day of or otherwise. See, and I feel like, first of all, like I, I agree with that, right? Like I, I think for a lot of people, once you choose to take something seriously, you expect a baseline level of competency yes, there's uh, a standard. from the other people who are doing it. Um, I think my question to you then, especially as someone who's sort of still new and just getting into it is, do you think the, the FGC or even esports in general offers enough of an incentive for people to be able to put in the time and energy to take this stuff seriously? Well, like you said before, the FGC and esports, it, it's almost always been a passion project. With the growth of video games recently, especially after COVID, during after COVID even, um, it's... It's always been a passion project, but now with the development of new games and new people trying to show their talent, it's there has to be something more that's provided. And it's unfortunate because with the game layoffs as of recent, um, there's been a mm. lot. The industry is super shaky, and unfortunately the FGC isn't as... Um, uh, it's not as mainstream as other esports, such as League of Legends or Apex, you know? Sure. Um, Unfortunately, passion cannot pay the bills. For me, I'm lucky because I do have the time and some money because I do work a job for these extra things, traveling out and other, otherwise, because I'm not sponsored or anything. I don't work for a company, but for other people, it's just not the same. And that's why some of them walk away, which is sad. You know, I, I hate that the space seems to shrink sometimes due to the fact that there's just not enough money being poured into it. It's just not a reasonable, like, hey man, do you want to run this event for 12 hours straight and only make 10 bucks? Uh, no, you can't. And it's it a hard sell. With, it comes with the idea of paying your players, paying out your talent, paying out the people that provide these things for you, you know? Yeah, it's a weird world where, you know, a lot of the sponsors that these big majors get and things like that are coming from million, billion dollar companies. And, you know, the rewards for these volunteers or, you know, even employees being like talented and stuff like that is like a dinner voucher equivalent, basically. Mm -hmm. It's tough and it, admire... it's not easy to change. I admire the events that do try their best to make everybody feel included.